Hello everyone, I'm Mike, and today I will show you in my second year of cubing puzzle collection. So it's the end of 2019 and I really like this time because many cubing channels make their puzzle collection videos at this time and uh, they're really fun to watch, but it's also really fun to make. Uh, I've been cubing for two years now, and today I'll show my collection. Uh, it has to be said that I have two packages on their way coming here, but I'm pretty sure they're not going to be here until like a few days later, which is going to be 2020. Uh, so yeah, I guess that doesn't count. So I got everything empty here, and... Uh, I guess I'll go pretty randomly, uh, so let's begin. Oh boy, I need to adjust the camera, oh, oh man, that's not, that's not good. <laughs> uh, come on, boy. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, here are some one by ones I made when I started cubing. I guess it was funny back then, and I made all of these. This one probably looks the best. Uh, this one is a, a Rubik's brand. It doesn't turn, but it would if if it would turn, it would still turn bad because it's a Rubik's brand. Uh, here is a, a mirror one by one. Uh, here are some one by one by twos, also rather stupid, and I made them, so they're pretty bad. <laughs> this is a, let me zoom in, here. a mirror one by one by two, and yeah, it shapeshifts, but I guess it's coming off a bit. Uh, here's a proportional one by one by two, I think it's proportional to a uh, two by two, and it looks pretty horrible when you look close because uh, because it's made from black tape <laughs> and here's perhaps the best one it, it looks the best and it turns well here is a one by one by three uh, it also looks and turns horrible I mean it turns fine but it's like really easy to take out <laughs> But it looks very bad. Yeah, I guess I should just move them away. Here, but here's a one by two by two. It only has, I believe, six combinations, and it's fun to give to non cubers. Uh, here's a one by three by three. Yeah. Well, a, a super floppy cube, and it turns pretty well. It also does this shape shifts pretty cool puzzle and it's actually like it, it it's definitely a, more of a challenge than this one obviously uh so here are all the one by two by threes i have uh here are two like christmas trees and i actually hung up one of these on our christmas tree but i took it down right now <sighs> and I I ran to get it actually so yeah they turn they turn pretty well I guess they're really cheap and well they're pretty good I guess yeah there's nothing very special about them here's our Rubik's uh, cat I bought this for my little sister obviously and well she liked it but she she said I could have it in my collection anyway so uh, it's a Rubik's brand yes and and it was way too expensive for a 1 by 2 by 3 I believe this was like $15 and this is also a Rubik's brand, 
but it's from McDonald's Happy Meals. And I, I made a video about this not too long ago. And yeah, I just I got lucky and I found one of these. Uh, and yeah, I still believe these ones can get pretty rare, so I'm pretty happy to have it in my collection. Oh uh, dear boy. Okay, it's time for my 3x3s. I mean 2x2s, what am I saying? Uh, this one I... Oh, sorry. Uh, this one I obviously bought for my sister. Uh, and it surprisingly turns pretty well. I mean, it turns very well, not gonna lie. Uh, and yeah, it just has... Stickers on, I mean, pictures. Here's a MF2 from the Cuban classroom set. Uh, it turns fine, I guess. This was my uh, second 2 by 2 actually, yeah. Uh, this is a, a Chi Chi DS, not S, man. Chi Chi DN. I remember when I bought it, I expected it to be as good as the Chi DS, but it's not. It's, I mean, it, it was, it's, it's really tied out of the box, and I needed to loosen it so much to, to get it actually turning decently. This is a, just some off-brand 2x2 two two that I actually bought for $1.00. One euro. It was very cheap and it was brand new. And after lubing it, it actually turns very well for for one euro. It's surprising. The color scheme is obviously off. It pretty strange. Uh, here is a Rubik's brand two by two, and it turns not good. And it's also smaller than a regular two by two. You see, and this was actually the first 2x2 two two I ever had. It, it's a Rubik's 2x2. Two two. And I mean, the first one I had actually broke, so I bought this one just because I kind of wanted to have it in my collection. This is a 2x2 two two mirror cube. It turns very well and it was cheap, so why not? Sometimes it can actually get pretty confusing for me. <laughs> I mean, it's just a 2x2 two two shape mod, but I don't know. And this is the... Uh, I forgot, wait. I forgot, let me check. This is a YG MGC 2x2, two two, and it is my current main, and honestly, I still think this is one of the best deals in cubing. This was only $10, and it's a very good magnetic cube i i never lubed it still and it's it just works so well so well without any lube i really like this one and i believe like that anyone should get this like because it's just ten dollars and this is great um here's a chi 2 by 2 by 3 it it turns very well actually, it's a very good turning puzzle and it's fun, honestly, yeah, it is fun, but I don't solve it that much, I guess, but it's a, it's a fun little cube. Uh, I see pick it up if it's, it's pretty cool to have for your collection. And I'm pretty sure this is the only actually good turning 2x2x3. Three by threes. Uh, let's begin with these tiny three by threes. And uh, yeah, I don't care about them. They turn horribly, but they were really cheap when I bought them. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody has one, or at least knows of one, because they're just so cheap and very bad. Uh, I did make this Siamese cube mod. I don't play around with it at all because. I mean, you see, it pops very easily, and it's, it's not fun when the cube is so bad. Here are some mods I didn't finish. Uh, I don't know what I even tried here. And here's like a 1x3x3. Three three. 
mod that I didn't sticker up. And here's a dodo cube, I guess. A metallic dodo cube. Once again, I I really don't care about them. They're just bad. One more tiny 3x3. I believe this is a 2.5 centimeter 3x3. And this just turns so well. It's insane. Like, when you think about it, like, uh, brands like Rubik's, and they make worse turning cubes than this. And, I mean, this is such a tiny cube, and it's also very cheap. And it turns way better than, like, any Rubik's brand. And I have deep love for this. This is just so cute. And once again, it actually functions well. So definitely a cool puzzle to have in your collection, because it's just so tiny. Here's a bigger 3x3. Uh, this is a Fangson 3x3. It turns fine. It actually doesn't turn as well as this one. But it, eh, it's fine, I guess. Uh, now let's get to actual size 3x3s. And I do have quite, quite some 3x3s. These are not all, just wait a, a little bit. I'm moving camera away too much. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all. Yeah, it should be. Actually, wait, no, I don't think it is. Yeah, I have quite some 3x3s. Uh, and these are not counting the shape mods. I will show them later. So let's begin with... Uh, I don't really know which one. I guess we can begin with this one, because... I'm pretty sure it's really an unseen puzzle, and I'm very lucky to have it in my collection. Uh, here, let me show you. It is a Rubik's brand, actually. Shit, um... Yeah. And it was actually company's order, and... You can only get them if you, like, work at that company. Uh, so I'm very lucky to have them because my dad actually works there and he got me a bunch of them. I uh, actually had 13 of them, but we had to give away some of them. I'm still very lucky to have this because uh, these are very rare. Like, you cannot buy them anywhere. Yeah, and it's a Rubik's brand, so the turning is just fine. So yeah, I have five of those, and three of them are not open. Here are some absolutely terrible 3x3s. These are the ones that you find at like party stores. Uh, this one was 80 cents, and this one was 60. And I lube them so they turn actually... Uh, eh, that's how they turn. Like, they still terrible quality. And it just, and yeah, it's, it's very bad, they're very bad, not much more to say about them. Uh, here's also a very bad 3x3, <laughs> uh, this is some kind of off-brand 3x3, and act, it, it actually has a core of, uh, I believe like 1980s Rubik's brand, so it turns very bad, and I did this kind of sticker mod. Which, I mean, doesn't look good either. It just, eh. Not a good puzzle, obviously. And I definitely have quite some not good puzzles. Um, here's a Hishu 3x3, and it was only $2. And, I mean, it turns fine. Not very good, definitely. And the color scheme is messed up. It's like kind of opposite here. Here's also a 3x3 I, I made a very long time ago. And it turns terrible because I used actual paint on here. So yeah, it's not good at all. I'm pretty sure this is a very hard puzzle, but... But I mean, it just turns so bad, it's insane. It's actually a pretty cool puzzle because it's... I believe from like 1990s or something, uh, but it's not a Rubik's brand, it's some kind of off-brand, and 
My friend actually just gave it to me because he said he doesn't want a bad turning puzzle. Wow, this is a, a very vintage puzzle, so that's that's very cool. It has tiles, and I mean, when I first got it, there was just so much dust inside. It was insane. But I cleaned it out, and so it's actually fine. This is an MF3RS. It, it just turns so great. I, I did this kind of a sticker mod. I don't know why, I guess I just wanted to, and it still turns very good. I would definitely say this is one of the best budget cubes uh, to this day. Here's a Fangs in 3x3, and in, in one video I actually skated over it, and I broke it into pieces. But it actually still functions. It has some broken pieces, I believe. Yeah, it definitely does. Uh, like here. Oh man. But it still works, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's, I mean, as a puzzle itself, it's okay. It was very cheap. Uh, here's another Faxon puzzle, and this is very important to me because this was my first main ever. Uh, I went to my first competition with this, and I mean, it's not a very good cube. And the funny thing is, at that time, I also had this puzzle, and MF3RS is way better. But I went with this because it just turned faster. I was pretty stupid, I guess. I mean, it, it turns fine. Pretty sure it's like a knockoff. See, you can kind of see by pieces here. But yeah, this is my first main. Here's a my first mod ever. It's a three by three metallic mod, and this was my first video ever posted. Uh, and it only has two colors, and the turning is just all right, but. I don't really remember it, but there is an extra parody when solving this. Uh, here is a mod that I'm currently working on. So it, it definitely functions, but I'm, it's in the process now. So yeah, that's pretty much as much as you can see now. Uh, this is some kind of a knockoff void cube and it was only two euros, I believe, 250 maybe. It, it, the turning is pretty bad, obviously, but it, it does the job. Kind of, I guess. <laughs> the turning is not good, definitely. Eh, but that boy. Here's the Yushin Kylin or Keelan. This is definitely one of the cheapest magnetic puzzles out there, and it's... It's definitely pretty good. I remember I had it as a main a little bit, but I never went to, to a competition with it, so I guess it it wasn't really a main, but I really loved the disc cube. And I mean, it, it still turns good. The magnets are pretty strong, which I definitely like. I like strong magnets a lot. But yeah, definitely a good puzzle. And here's my current main. Uh, this is the uh, Maylong 3x3 and I actually put the magnets inside there by myself. And now it's my main. I went to a competition with it and I did pretty well I think. Uh, the magnets here are way too strong though. Uh, they're taken out of Mr. M and if you know the Mr. M 3x3 you know that the magnets there are very strong, so it's very, yeah, it's very strong, but I love it. I love this cube. And I mean, the this cube itself without magnets is only like $3, so it's definitely worth it. Here's a Lithuanian 100-year 
independence uh, V cube. This is a very rare cube because you can only find it in Lithuania and I believe there are only like few of them. Uh, and it actually turns very well, even though this is a V cube. It, I mean, it, it has pretty basic pictures, I guess. Just some places in Lithuania. But the turning is very good, and I obviously just bought it for collection, though, because I don't really care about it. Like, I don't really care about solving it, because it's a picture cube. Here's a... I believe... Uh, what brand is it? Well, I don't remember the brand, but it, this is a... A DIY bandage cube set. Oh, here is... Uh, wait. Yeah, you can kind of see it here. It says Cube Twist. Yeah, that's... That's the brand. And... The cube itself is actually pretty good. It turns well, but any kind of the point of this is you get in this set you get a bunch of tiles and you can just make any kind of bandage cube. Let me show you. Yeah, here's yeah, here's the entire set. And the only bad thing about this is it's really hard to take out the tiles, so it kind of makes this not fun. And here's, uh, I guess you could say like Sudoku cube. Uh, there are nine colors uh, in this and each side has to be different color. There cannot be repeating colors in one side. So this is actually a very hard sticker mod. And it doesn't look hard, but uh, of course, if you're looking at a picture, it's very easy to solve it, but if you're just trying to find it out by yourself, it is very hard. <sighs> wow. Uh, there were a lot of 3 by 3s here. <laughs> uh, but I also have 3 by 3 shape mods, so let's go. But first I need to get rid of these. Not get rid of them, just move them away. Wait, 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 actually, I forgot. I also have this. Uh, this is a big 3x3. Three three. Uh, and it's also the same brand, it's Fangson. And the cool thing is that these two cubes are like exactly the same, except sizes are different. And now this cube is lubed, so it turns well. But it does tend to pop pretty easily it's it's not too big of a problem because it's really easy to put it back okay now hopefully we can move on three by three shape mods uh, there's no secret that I really like three by three shape mods and they're probably my favorite puzzles to solve. Where do we even begin? I guess we can start with this G mirror cube. This is probably like the most known uh, three by three shape mod. So there's really not too much to say here, but the quality, the turning and sticker quality is obviously good. It's made by Chi, so yeah. Next up, we can take a look at this Moyu uh, windmill cube. Uh, I remember all of these Moyu 3x3 shape mods were pretty sandy out of the box, but uh, after like breaking it in a bit, it's it's definitely good. Uh, uh, this this can get pretty confusing, especially at the last layer. Uh, like you just have to kind of play around with it quite a long time to figure it out sometimes. But uh, the Pandora cube. Uh, the turning of this puzzle is pretty sandy and not really that smooth, but uh, it's not easy to pop this, so it's okay. It's I mean, it's good. Uh, about the solving itself, uh, I'm pretty sure this has a parity because of these pieces. Uh, this puzzle has one of these pieces in every on every side. And also, it only has three colors.
Now, I don't even know what to call this one. Uh, it's a diamond, I guess. Uh, I don't know what brand this is. I think it's YJ, but I'm not sure. And I would definitely prefer way more to have a stickerless version of this if it exists. Because the stickers, uh, the sticker quality on this puzzle is not very good. It, I mean, it's very easy to like, un, un, it's, it, it unsticks by itself, so yeah. This is a 3x3 three three barrel, uh, also a very known shape mod. Uh, this version only has 5 colors and this is very easy to solve. It's also a smooth puzzle and I got it very cheaply, maybe like 3 bucks I think. This is a Rubik's Apple and it's pretty simple to solve because it doesn't have many different pieces. The sad thing is that this piece on top uh, is very easy to break and I've broken it, unfortunately. Next up, let's take a look at this Fangson Master Morphix. Uh, and it's one of the first shape mods I, I ever bought. I believe it's the second one after this uh, mirror cube. And the first time I tried to solve this, uh, it actually took me like six hours. And but after I learned it, after I found a way how to solve it, uh, I noticed that pretty much all of these uh, three by three shape mods can be solved uh, the exact same way. And uh, so. 3x3 three three shape mods became pretty easy to solve for me. The turning is smooth, it's a tiny bit catchy, but not really. Now we can take a look at this uh, Mefford's Morphs Egg, and it's pretty similar to the Apple because it also, it also has only one color and many similar pieces. It has a ball bearing mechanism, but the turning is very good. And it can get pretty challenging because, as I said, there are many similar pieces, so you can put a piece in a place where it's not supposed to be without even knowing it. This is an Axis Cube, and I remember I bought it because I heard that it was really challenging, uh, like a Ghost Cube. But it turns out, I mean, for, at least for me, it, it's not hard at all. It's not harder than any other shape mod. It, once again, probably because of that way of solving 3x3 three three shape mods I found out. This is a, I believe, YJ Diamond. Uh, it's a bit catchy, definitely, and there is a problem with the caps coming off easily, but I just glued them, so it's not that hard to fix this problem. Uh, it's pretty similar to the Apple and the morphs egg because it's just one color and it has a lot of similar pieces not too hard uh, i wish it was a bit better quality but it, it was very cheap this is the methods ghost cube probably one of the most challenging uh, uh, 3x3 shape mods uh, but first of all the sticker quality on this puzzle is very bad <laughs> Uh, the stickers kind of like brushed off very easily. It's not really possible to see that well on camera, but all the logos and everything are gone. Uh, I can solve it. It's definitely a bit more confusing sometimes because of these strange pieces, uh, but it's definitely not too bad. But you know what is too bad? Uh, this puzzle. This is the Mefford's Pocket Cube. And yes, this is a 3x3 three three shape mod. It not only shapeshifts, but this is like a bandaged 3x3 uh, three three that shapeshifts. And obviously the reason it's so hard, it's because it's bandaged. And uh, they're very, the, the moves are very limited every time. So sometimes it seems like you're about to finish it and there's only like one more move left. But then it turns out that the move is not possible to do, so you have to find another way to solve it. Uh, this is definitely the hardest puzzle in my collection. Here are some puzzles I forgot to mention, and they should have been in the 2x2 category. This is a half a 2x2. 
I tried to do something here, but I mean, it theoretically worked out and it does this interesting stuff, but it's just a half of a 2x2. <laughs> Pretty stupid, but I mean, it works. And this is perhaps the cutest 2x2 ever, the Panda Cube. Uh, this was only $7 on CubeZZ, and I never expected this cube to be so big. But also, the turning is very good. It it turns very smoothly, and it shape shifts obviously. And it's just the cutest puzzle ever. Uh, here's probably one of my favorite puzzles, the Mefford's Gear Ball. It, and it's actually very simple to solve. But yeah, you know, it it doesn't scramble that much at all. But what also makes it way more fun is that this turns amazingly. Uh, on 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 their website, it says it's the smoothest puzzle in the world. I'm not sure about that, but it's definitely very good and smooth. Uh, it just makes the solve so much more fun and enjoyable. Uh, here are some uh, pure minxes. I, as I talked about the package package in the beginning of the video, in that package there is a, uh, uh, I believe uh, it was like a Chi Bell pure minx, and pretty much the best pure minx you can get. And it's now delivering, so I'm I can't wait for it. But here's uh, these pure minxes I have. This is a Fangson one, and it turns fine. It's pretty catchy. Yeah, and I mean, it's, yeah, it's not really that good. But this was the first pure mix I ever got. Uh, this is a a Hishu pure mix, and it 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 doesn't really have that good turning. But I mean, it's very strong. It's almost like it has magnets, but it doesn't. And I'm pretty sure this is a very, very rare puzzle because you cannot find anything about it online. At least I didn't. If you if you know anything about this, please write it in the comments. And here's a I don't remember the name, but it's just Yushin Pyraminx. I bought this because I have heard it's very good, but it's not good at all in my opinion. The turning is good, but it's very easy to to do this. I mean, it's very easy to like kind of flip pieces like that unintentionally, uh, and this kind of ruins it. You see, this happens on normal solves, and that's and that's not good at all. What else do I have? Uh, here are four by fours I have. This is a. Uh, a Moyu MF4, and if you know it, you know it's a terrible 4x4, and it really is bad. I this is just garbage, and this is a Chi 4x4, also a budget one. I don't remember how it's called now, I think it's like Chi 1 or something, and it turns all right. It, it's really not that good, but I don't really do 4x4. Uh, Here's a an MF5 Moyu MF5S, I believe, 5x5. Five five. And in my last uh, puzzle collection video, I I said that this is a terrible puzzle because I ruined it. I think I used like olive oil in it or something. But one day I just decided to take it apart and spend like two hours cleaning it out, and now it's amazing. Ugh. I should probably magnetize this because it's, it's very great now. I It does tend to pop sometimes, uh, so that's, I think, why I should magnetize it. But this is the only 5x5 five five I have, and it's amazing in my opinion. Uh, here's the only 7x7 seven seven I have. This is a V-Cube 7, and it's obviously not good, but I, I bought it for only 10 euros used, and... First of all, the sticker quality is horrible. I don't know how, but it chips so easily. I replaced stickers a bunch of times, but it's terrible. And I mean, the turning is fine for a V-Cube, I guess, but it's not really good. 
and that's why in the future I, I wish to get like 6x6 and new 7x7 that actually turns okay. Here's a 10x10. I made a video about this and this is the Maylong 10x10. Also a great deal uh, on CubeZZ this is only $40 for a 10x10 and that is insane because they're usually like a hundred dollars but this is amazing this is a very good 10x10 it sometimes does tend to pop and that's pretty annoying so you have you have to be a bit careful but besides that it's so smooth and turns so good it's insane uh this is a great deal in cubing uh, here are cubes i have uh this is the first cube i ever got and this is uh uh, a chi I believe cube yeah and it's a budget cube it's probably the cheapest you can find and it's not not good I I, I I remember I was disappointed with it because it just popped so easily so I decided to get this uh, this is the I, I don't remember the name again but this is pretty much the the best cube there is out now and it, it, it's really great I went to competition with it and I did really well even though I don't really know how to solve it that well just beginners method and when I bought it I didn't really like it out of the box but I got used to it and now I love it uh, this is probably one of my favorite ski speed cubes and here's a, a cube shape mod I bought a few days ago this is a Mefford's mini puzzle it's I believe it's like Cube Extreme or something, and it's it's the only Cube Shape mod I have, and it's really confusing. <laughs> I can't solve it, but I don't really know how to. I just randomly play around with it for like 20 minutes, and I solve it, but it's just... <laughs> it's very confusing. But also, uh, besides that, the quality of this is amazing. The stickers are good and it turns very well. I definitely recommend it. I mean, this keychain puzzle is only 10 bucks. Uh, and I believe this is the last twisty puzzle I have. Uh, this is a, a budget. What is the name of it? <laughs> I keep forgetting. I, uh, I'll just probably write it in the video, but uh, it's a very good puzzle. It, I believe it was only like eight dollars or six maybe and the turning of it is definitely enough for a beginner and possibly even a speed cuber uh, oh yeah this is a mega minx <laughs> I, I remember it now uh, I don't play around with it I don't really care about it that much but it's a very good puzzle and definitely worth picking up if you want a mega mix a mega minx if you want to try it out because it's so cheap and definitely great quality for this price especially so now here are some puzzles that are well not twisty puzzles just other other ones uh, here are the rubik snakes i have and i really don't care about rubik snakes i'm not gonna lie but i i got this one because it's pretty interesting and i also got this one because it's tiny comparing to a big size comparing to like a normal size uh, snake and I mean yeah they don't really have uh, they're not really possible to scramble and solve uh, you just do whatever you want with them uh, this is a Fangson one and I mean there's really not a lot to tell about them because I don't I don't care uh, I mean this one's pretty interesting though still Oh boy, <laughs> let me let me put that back real quick. Okay, so here are uh, the 15 puzzles I have. Uh, yeah, it's called a 15 puzzle. Uh, and it's a kind of a, like a slide puzzle. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really care about any other puzzles than like twisty puzzles that much. So I definitely have played around with this and it's, I guess it's pretty interesting. This is pretty hard to take. And yeah, you just kind of scramble it like that. Yeah, it's one of those puzzles where the, there's always one empty block. And 
and you use it to move around. I mean, they're pretty interesting. But I just don't play with them. I still probably play with them more than uh, the snakes. But... Uh, here are some, I don't even know what these are, but... These are, these are also one of those puzzles where there's always one empty piece. Uh, and you just kind of mix it up like that. As I said, I really don't play with any of these, but I mean, still puzzles. I remember the first time I couldn't figure out figure it out, and it really took me like an hour to solve. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, they're pretty okay quality. Uh, here are some me metallic puzzles I have. Uh, I mean, I. I believe I really used to like them before I started cubing and I believe I still maybe remember how to solve a couple of these I believe this one is like very simple yeah <laughs> but this is the most simple one I mean they're they're honestly very good quality the metal is very strong so uh, you cannot bend it uh, you cannot cheat by bending it but I mean these aren't that interesting because once you find out like how to solve it it's always the same so uh, yeah this one's stuck <laughs> yes uh, maybe I remember how to solve this I don't think I do you kind of just play around with them and figure out how to do it uh, and this one I just have no clue how to do <laughs> this is a four ring puzzle and the last puzzle I have is this uh, maze ball uh, it has to be said that this was given to me by the late night person. We did a cool collaboration together, and he also gave me uh, the, the gear ball. So, uh, thank you, late night person. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I don't play around with this, but I definitely do with this one. Where are you? Ah! S strike. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this is, uh, that's all, I I need to actually count how many puzzles I have, uh, I will be back very soon. <laughs> okay, I'm back, I'm back, I counted. So I have uh, 92 puzzles, it's pretty insane and I'm pretty sure I will easily get to 100 next year because uh, these two packages that are coming on their way uh, already will make up uh, 100, so... It's pretty amazing, I think. I really like uh, collecting puzzles, all kinds of puzzles. And yeah, I've been only doing it for two years, but I have quite some of them. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I might actually make a short version of this video if you don't want to watch. It's uh, like, I believe this is going to be like 40 minutes or something. And But I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, see you next time. Uh, have a good day.